place, a moment just for you, where we'll gently explore God's promises together. I invite you to relax, settle in, and let his words wash over your heart. Take a deep breath and let it out slowly. Feel that tension just melt away. Right now, it's just you, me, and the loving presence of God. Have you ever just needed to hear that everything is going to be okay? That no matter what you're facing, you're not alone. God's promises are here to remind us of that very truth. Let's take this time to really listen to his voice speaking through these promises. Close your eyes if that helps you focus. Let's start with one of my favorites. In Isaiah 41.10, God says, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Can you imagine that? God himself holding you up when you feel like you can't stand anymore. What a beautiful image of his strength becoming our strength. So if you're feeling weary, take comfort. He's got you. Now picture a peaceful place. Maybe it's somewhere you've been before, or maybe it's a place in your mind somewhere quiet, safe, and calm. Psalm 23 verse 1 to 3 invites us to go to that place. It says, Yahweh is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. Can you see it? those still waters there for you right now as you rest in God's presence let him restore your soul it's okay to just be maybe you're here because you need hope you might be wondering what's next for me Jeremiah 29 11 gives us this amazing promise from God for I know the thoughts that I think towards you says Yahweh thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you hope and a future isn't that beautiful God is thinking of you right now not just random thoughts, but thoughts filled with peace, hope, and a good future. He knows the plans he has for you, and they are full of good things. Can you rest in that for a moment? Sometimes we feel far from God, like maybe we've messed up or drifted too far away. But Romans 8, 38 to 39 has something incredible to say about that. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord nothing can separate you from his love nothing not your past not your fears about the future not anything you're going through right now 
God's love is unshakable and it's holding on to you right this very second. You know, I think one of the things we all need more of is peace. Philippians 4, 6 to 7 tells us how to find it. In nothing be anxious, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. So take a moment right now, and if you have anything weighing on your mind or your heart, bring it to God. Just quietly let him know. It could be something small, or it could be something huge. Whatever it is, as you release it to him, his peace, this beautiful, unexplainable peace, will guard your heart and your mind. One last promise before we end this time together. It's from Revelation 21.4, and it gives us such hope for the future. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Neither will there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore. The first things have passed away. Can you imagine? No more pain. No more sorrow. Just God's perfect peace. Every tear wiped away by his own hand. That's his promise for us. For you. So as you leave this time of reflection, I encourage you to carry these promises with you. Whenever you need comfort, strength, or hope, these words are here for you. God's promises are like anchors for our souls, keeping us grounded no matter what storms may come. Thank you for spending this time with me today. May you continue to rest in God's peace and remember he is always with you, always loving you, always holding